the weather has certainly cooperated. It's a perfect day for football here at Goodison Park on Merseyside. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Everton taking on Chelsea. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. And here's how Everton line up. Jordan Pickford stands between the posts. James Tarkovsky plays alongside Michael Keane in central defence. Abdoulaye Dukure plays alongside Deli Ali in the centre of midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And this is how it looks for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy stands between the posts. Thiago Silva plays alongside Kadidou Koulibaly in central defence. Jorginho plays alongside Mateo Kovacic in central midfield. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. Enjoy the game. It should be a match to look forward to. Chelsea get it underway. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, there we have it, the first yellow card of the game. And he's going to have to be careful now. There's a long time to go here. Short and along the ground. Kovacic. Really good diving stop to make sure the threat came to nothing. <laughs> Elects to go short. Werner, can they put it away? And he clears it out of harm's way. Marcus Alonso, Mount. In it goes! An early opening statement in this match. And look at the celebrations. Well, as you can see, he gets a touch on this, but it's not quite enough to stop the goal. It was a good effort, though. And Everton get the ball rolling once more. Let's find out how they're going to react to this setback. Tom Davis. Deli Alley. Excellent defending. Marcus Alonso. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. Timo Werner and the textbook interception and since they have the ball the referee playing advantage here that is tackling of the highest order Aspili Quetta
And Chelsea looking dangerous. Well, he really read that brilliantly. Mateo Kovacic. On to Jorginho. Sterling. Well, possibilities inside the box. Alonso. Couldn't keep it. It is to be a throw-in. Well, the referee let it go initially, but now he goes back and cautions him, Stuart. Yeah, it's a good bit of refereeing. He tried to let the play continue, and then he came back for the booking. Mateo Kovacic in the centre. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Now how about the short corner? Cutting the ball back. Mount. And there it is! A two-goal cushion now. And they just need to keep the concentration. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power. But just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. Chelsea moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Every pass hitting its target. Timo Werner! Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. <laughs> now, how about the short corner? Mount going well sends it back and a goal wonderful stuff as they accelerate away from the opposition well here's the replay he's done really well to get his head up and pick somebody out with that cutback and he makes no mistake with the finish he showed a lot of composure there Chelsea are really in the mood here. Well, he's dicing with trouble here, having already been booked. And he is going to pay the ultimate price. Well, when you're on a yellow card, it was a silly challenge. He just lost his discipline there. Chelsea have had so much possession as you can see and have used it really well today particularly in the midfield areas and I expect more of the same as the game goes on real chance well he stumped it out of there without much fuss It is now with Jorginho. Well, closed down straight away. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Kovacic. On to Jorginho. 
given away by Chelsea and the counter-attack is on options available well it looked highly promising but it came to nothing in the end Gordon Ducure on the ball Davis Calvert-Lewin it's with Ducure Thiago Silva now with Jorginho so as we prepare for the half-time interval coming up shortly Everton are up against it no other way to put it really Stuart well what can you say this has been a dismal first half display from them they've lacked discipline they've looked disorganized and they've lacked fight not a great combination really he has time to play it over Jorginho And now with Kovacic, body in the way. Demi. And now Dominic Carvert-Lewin. Coleman. Ducure. Deli Alley. And reading it absolutely superbly. Mount Mateo Kovacic fine sequence of passes Marcos Alonso Mount now with Jorginho moving the ball effectively looking for the right moment chance to cross and the ball is loose a chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason, Stuart. He's putting in a really authoritative performance here. Well, I just love the way he goes past defenders to get his shots away. And at times today, he's been unplayable. He deserves more than just the one goal so far. And back underway, no sugarcoating it. There was a big gulf between the sides in the first half. Will we see a response from Everton in the second? And clears the danger. Deli Alley. Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. Now the delivery, a decisive clearance it was. Deli Alley, is it going to be? And a goal to delight the fans, just what they were hoping for. Well, that was a fairly easy finish in the end, but he still had to take it. He won't mind how they come, though. So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. Ducure and Everton pushing forward with options available that's the kind of shielding play you expect from him and the last touch off the defender so a corner coming up well could this be the turning point the fans are certainly hoping so
Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Coming onto the pitch, number 29, Kai Havertz. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And blocked for now. And a throw in forthcoming. How about the cross? He will be. Can he finish? Oh, another one for them. And with plenty of time still remaining, this game is very much back on. Well, here it is again, and it was never really in doubt, was it? He was always going to score from there. So, moving once more, and Everton right back in this contest now. Mateo Kovacic. Aspili Quetta. What can Chelsea do from this position? Rhys James. Kovacic. Well, he could really get at the opposition. In position. A Chelsea corner. But he's gone short with it. Kai Havertz. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. And they deal with the threat this time. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. Now Chelsea in a position of menace. Oh, it's in! A two-goal cushion now! And the lead fully merited. Well, as you can see, it was a fairly simple finish in the end. But you still have to be in the right place. Keep your composure and finish it off. And that's exactly what he did. Using his strength to shield the ball. Mateo Kovacic. Attacking possibilities for Chelsea. Well, can they open up the defence here? Well, sadly, they just couldn't keep possession. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. Well, a nearly moment just over the top. Substitution for Chelsea. Coming off the pitch. Number 15, Raheem Sterling. Tarkovsky and on the ball Keane Deli Alley Dukure now with Deli well visionary passing Deli Alley the cut back can he get one back wasted chance easy for the goalkeeper 
Jorginho. Now with Havertz. Marcus Alonso. Havertz. And is he going to do it? Cover six. And a decent save. Full credit. Delhi. Delhi Alley. Ducure. Read it superbly to take back possession. Well, this game ebbing away, and Everton a long way from their best. Well, they've been second best, that's for sure, and the main problem has been in midfield, where they've been overrun at times. They just haven't been able to get enough possession. It's not been a good performance today. Well, that is how to run at defenders. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Delhi. And now Dominic Carvert Lewin. Well, that ball looks promising. Gray. And we saw the situation developing. James. The ball with Marco Alonso. Mateo Kovacic. And Havertz. Marcus Alonso. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Ducure. On to Delhi. It will be now. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Havert Lewin, tremendous intuition to win it back. Well, this is far from over. We're going to have five minutes of stoppage time. Kuribali. James. Free kick to Chelsea. Played in there. Ideal for the goalkeeper, for any keeper. Tom Davis. So there goes the final whistle. It is a defeat for Everton. Not exactly what they had in mind. I wonder what you thought of it all. Well, Derek, they were certainly off the pace today. Beaten to the board in too many key areas. They need to refocus now and perform better next time out. Well, a good night's work for Raheem Sterling. What in particular did you see from Sterling in this game? Well, it's a good performance. He worked hard, played well and scored a goal. And his team won. What more could you ask for?